Hi, I'm Jack Pelton, Chairman of EAA. You know, at AirVenture every year, there's just an amazing amount of innovation that's displayed uh, here on the grounds. It comes from innovators, it comes from our partners, it comes from, from people who are just passionate about trying to make a difference with technology. This video series is going to be a clip of what you're going to see at AirVenture on our flight line. We really hope you will enjoy it because it's going to show you all of the interesting and fascinating stuff that happens in somebody's garage in a showcase at AirVenture. All aircraft on the runway, turn left as soon as practical into the grass, follow the EA flagman. RV turn in final runway 27 at the green dot. Take it all the way down to the green dot, you're clear to land. Welcome to Oshkosh, guys, you're doing a great job. There's a company with a great track record in producing smart, affordable, and future-proof technology. This company makes avionics totally designed with you, the general aviation pilot, in mind. Trig Avionics quite literally takes performance to the limit. Trig has a proven expertise in ADS-B, with over 340 approved dealers in North America and a U.S. service center, with great customer service and the best warranty in the industry. Here's a rundown on new products and opportunities TRIG has to offer you. Let's start with ADS-B. Pilots want to be compliant with the minimum fuss and expense. TRIG has a solid offer that can save you time, money, and avoid costly modifications, but still gets you ready for 2020. Do you currently use a KT-76A or KT-78A Mode C transponder? Do you use a GNS or GTN WAS navigator? These are common avionics used in numerous GA aircraft. Trig's TT-31 is the ideal upgrade option with this equipment. With the latest software, the TT-31 can retrofit into an existing KT-76A or 78A tray, and this tray can be configured to give you ADS-B out, too. Simply use your existing antenna. No holes to drill and the fastest retrofit, which means Trig cuts the cost of installation and saves you hundreds of dollars. All ADS-B out installations need a compliant position source. You can use any Garmin GNS or GTN WAS GPS or a range of other navigators, including a Free Flight 1201 or a Trig TN70, which are blind units. Finally, if you need an STC, then Trig has a free STC program covering 650 aircraft types using the GPS equipment options we've described. With the TT-31, you can be 2020 compliant faster and for less money than you ever imagined. For those pilots in light sport, vintage, or gliders, Trig also has ADS-B 2020 solutions, a Class 1 ADS-B capable transponder called the TT-22. There's also smart matching VHF radios called the TY-91. The Trig radio is now available as a dual control option, with two controllers working off a single radio ideal for tandem gliders and aircraft types. Trig is rolling out a new range of stack avionics this autumn. This company prides themselves on designing highly compact avionics that are better by design. The new TY96 and TY97 radio are no exception. Only 1.3 inches high, these certified radios are the same height as the popular SL40. With a clear bright display and easy to use interface, they have some compelling features that include a built-in stereo two-place intercom, dual watch, 
a database of over 200 frequencies that you can load via a USB, push step or faster tuning, and features such as Say Again that allows the replay of the last transmission. And finally, an Emer button set to 121 decimal 5. Trig packs a lot of punch into a small package. Two new audio panels are also coming from Trig. An ideal companion to a Trig radio, the TMA45 and TMA44 dual-com, dual-nav, and fully featured audio panels. Each has a built-in intercom and marker beacon receiver. The TMA45 has additional entertainment features and Bluetooth wireless support for music and mobile devices. Trig expects to ship these new products in the second half of 2015. Look on the Trig website to find your nearest approved Trig dealer, so you can get equipped with these innovative and future-proof avionics right now. Finally, let's mention Trig's commitment to you as a customer. The company's warranty runs for two years from the date of install, not purchase. And if you ever need a repair, then Trig automatically awards you an extra two years warranty, free. Now that's service. If you're at Oshkosh Air Venture 2015, then visit Trig in Hall C. If you want to discover avionics where innovation, quality, and value really stack up, then take a look at Trig. The pace of technology is staggering. Even our phones contain computational power that was unimaginable just a few years ago. Modern personal electronics run thousands of applications from different software developers to give us things like music, games, movies, photo editing, and of course, phone calls. Yet somehow technology in the cockpit has escaped this trend. Today's glass cockpits do contain some new features like animated maps, synthetic vision, advanced autopilots, and so on. But regardless of the vendor, this technology is all based upon carefully developed software. What sets apart a Garmin G1000 and even the advanced AVO NG platform on the Eclipse 500 isn't which screen is brighter or which has the best resolution. Avolution recognizes this and is the first company to embrace avionics as a software business through its extensible flight system, or XFS. Unlike most aircraft, our CH-750 demonstrator aircraft is not built around proprietary displays and expensive one-of-a-kind computers. Instead, it uses commodity, industrial-grade computer screens and networking equipment. These robust yet readily available systems combine with Evolution software to create the optimal experience for the pilot in terms of usability and safety. For over a decade, software has been the primary differentiator of avionics systems. Vendors can pretend all they want that primary flight display or multifunction display is no different from a round dial altimeter or artificial horizon. But the reality is that modern avionics are built and operate a lot more like this than this. Software allows for an incredibly diverse array of aircraft data, such as airspeed, attitude, and GPS location, to be processed, verified, and presented to the pilot in a more optimal format. Software on a primary flight display or multifunction display can be easily updated to deliver additional features, provided there's someone to maintain it. Unfortunately, in the avionics industry, the transition to software has primarily benefited the avionics manufacturers more than us as pilots. Vendors have kept the key software proprietary and tied exclusively to their own hardware. Once a hardware vendor discontinues a product, the whole avionics platform becomes orphaned from future improvement. Remember the Apollo GPSs? What about the Megat Magic Suite from early 2000s Piper Morel Boos and Meridians? XFS is built using software that can be changed or improved by any software developer, and it runs on hardware from any number of vendors. With XFS, an avionics system never becomes obsolete, since individual components, hardware or software, can be readily replaced with newer ones while maintaining compatibility with older portions of the system. Think about the experience of buying a computer at the electronics store. Sure, there are dozens of brands of computers and printers, but you know when you buy any of them that the software you've had for years should still run on it and your printers should still print. I want to infuse the avionics industry with that model of simplicity. 
and our research and development aircraft behind us, we have XFS running on eight computers, many of which are redundant, and most of which are the size of this Raspberry Pi. XFS is already tuning NAV and comm radios, processing data from GPS, air data computers, and AHAR sensors, and displaying it on an XFS, PFD, and MFD. Come see how XFS is improving safety and flexibility while driving down the cost of avionics. Or come visit us at www.xfs.aero. MVP.Aero use sophisticated videos and computer-generated images to introduce the MVP aircraft, the world's most versatile plane. The aerodynamic beauty of the fuselage and engine cowl, made directly from engineering files and actual prototype moulds, accurately depict the aircraft and its many features. Upon landing, the pilot immediately begins the remarkable MVP transformation, peeling away the side and forward canopies, revealing unrestricted access to the outside world. As you see here, reliable gas springs power much of the transformation activity. Simple yet sophisticated engineering. Planning to stay a while, the pilot continues the transformation. Instrument panel retracts, the origami deck and forward seating is deployed for a few hours fishing. Our designers made sure there's an activity for everyone on an MVP at its destination. The forward deck has many uses for recreation and work activities too. The scene here shows three seemingly impossible features of the aircraft. Can you spot them? Let's play it again. First, the aircraft folds its wings on water. Second, reverse taxis into its slip, and third, the aircraft stays close to level as the passenger leans far off the MVP centerline. The MVP self-leveling technology, combined with docking thrusters, makes all of this possible. Again, simple yet sophisticated MVP engineering. 
This affords the MVP literally millions of parking and hangaring locations denied other aircraft, at marinas worldwide, and even boathouses at home, increasing your enjoyment and saving you money. The MVP is about supporting a myriad of activities at its owner's chosen destination, whether it be on land, sea, or snow. Learn more at www.mvp.aero. Words to describe the Redbird sidekick. Let's see. Observer, correspondent, analyst, assistant, insightful, mentor. There's an old saying that goes, you can't manage what you can't measure. Said another way, and with flight training in mind, you can't manage, refine, and improve student outcomes if you can't measure and record activities and performance objectively and effectively. As every operator of a flight training operation knows, this is among the most challenging and time-consuming aspects of the business. Often, what gets collected can be maddeningly incomplete and subjective. How you measure is as important as what you measure. That's why the Redbird Sidekick may be the most interesting and important new tool for flight schools since the introduction of the Link Trainer. Imagine an affordable bit of electronics, about the size of a notebook, a device that can be thrown on the back seat of any airplane, requiring no physical connections to the aircraft, not even a power connection, that can automatically record where the airplane went, who was flying, and precise details of everything that happened to the airplane and the pilot along the way. A device that can automatically and wirelessly send all of its recorded information onto a database where it is turned into highly detailed, user-defined reports. With no physical connections to the airplane, meaning no installation costs, this device can be used in any type of aircraft regardless of age, sophistication, or capability. It knows where it went, vertically and horizontally, what airplane it is currently flying in, which student and which instructor is in the aircraft, what time the engine started and shut down, the RPMs, the flight maneuvers flown, the number of landings, the stresses on the airframe, including any occurrences of hard landings, and an amazing variety of other things. Then, when the flight is over, automatically, meaning without human intervention, it transmits that information to the flight school to automate the record keeping for students, aircraft logs, and even invoicing. This is the Redbird Sidekick, the next great leap in flight training technology. Look for the Sidekick demonstration in the Redbird exhibit at AirVenture 2015. To most people, the sky is the limit. To those of us who love aviation, the sky is home. We're Redbird. We've got a big announcement for Four Flight customers, something that we've been working on for a while, and that is Four Flight and Garmin have come together to integrate the leading flight bag and flight planning app in ForeFlight Mobile with Garmin Avionics. So customers of both companies that have made investments in you know, using our application and using Garmin Avionics are going to be able to achieve a whole new range of experiences by pairing these two technologies together. There's a range of benefits you get by you know, adopting these two products. You're going to get access to high quality ADSB weather and traffic information and backup attitude. So in the first phase of this integration, you can take ForeFlight Mobile, pair that with a flight stream, and you can get access to the best traffic information and the best weather information that's available. Even if you've got an airplane that just has, say, a GNS series navigator, you can add this equipment and bring a wealth of new information into the cockpit. In the second phase of the integration, we're going to be enabling two-way flight plan transfer. That's going to enable pilots a, a much faster flight planning experience and a much better in-flight experience. What we're trying to really do here is create more time for you to fly. And when you're flying, have more confidence because you've got better information and you've got the backups that are helpful when things don't go as planned. 
So ideally, a ForeFlight customer can wake up in the morning, grab a cup of coffee, go to ForeFlight Web and have a full web desktop planning experience, get work done very quickly, have that synced through the cloud to your mobile device, you step in the airplane, you load the flight plan into the navigator and you get going. And the way that we're approaching this integration is, is like we've done in the past, which is when ForeFlight customers download products that we've connected to, like those in the ForeFlight Connect program, we want to ensure that that's gone through a development and testing process and is backed by the service and support of the companies that are building these products. And we're making sure that the experience is going to just work and that it's going to expand its capability uh, over time. This ForeFlight and this Garmin integration is going to be the first step in a long series of enhancements that continue to make flying uh, and flight planning easier, make the in-flight experience uh, better and more robust, and allow you to unlock even more value out of the investments that you've made in the software that you're using and the hardware that you've got in the airplane. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. We've had our Cub for just about a year and uh, love it. I call myself the fleet manager. We have a Citation, a 58 Baron, and the Carbon Cub, they're all different, but I would absolutely say the Cub is the most fun to fly. I use it to commute to, to my office, yeah, every day. It's a great way to start the day. I can't wait to have the day end and be able to fly at home. It's just fantastic. It's really changed our lives in that Dave's commute used to be an hour on a really busy freeway, and now within 15 minutes he's home with a smile on his face, you know, <laughs> not after an hour of sitting in traffic. And we're really fortunate to be able to use it the way it was designed and built to be used. Our strip here at the ranch is just under 700 feet. It's not the smoothest in the world. It's uphill, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. It's in a canyon, so it's a challenge to get in and out, but the Cub does it without any issues at all. Everything about it is above what we'd ever uh, thought it could be. More pilots are realizing the benefits of Trig Avionics. We make innovative certified avionics that are easier to install and operate and are backed with the best support and warranty in the business. Contact your approved Trig dealer today, www.trigavionics.com. Moderate to uh, heavy precipitation along your current route of flight all the way to Broadway. American 1955, I'd like to go about 10 right to the best of weather. With Stratus and ForeFlight and my iPad, I will fly on days that before having all that gear, I would never have flown because I know that I've got the thunderstorm avoidance information with me right there in the airplane real time. There's a lot to keep track of in the cockpit. Changing weather conditions, traffic, terrain, airspace, and so much more. Now you can count on Stratus for easy situational awareness. One device, all of your flight information, and no wires. And everything is beautifully displayed in ForeFlight Mobile. Stratus is changing the way pilots fly, from VFR weekend flyers to professional jet pilots. Simply mount Stratus on a side window 
turn it on and go flying. In minutes, you'll see an array of information. Subscription-free weather, including animated radar, METARs, TAFs, TFRs, AIRMETs, SIGMETs, and NOTAMs, updated every five to 10 minutes. A stunning synthetic vision display with 3D terrain obstacles and runways, plus a real-time backup attitude indicator. Dual band ADS-B traffic, showing aircraft altitude and track. WASP GPS position drives track up moving maps, terrain alerts, and ForeFlight's automatic runway advisor. Real-time pressure altitude, plus pop-up alerts for high cabin altitude. An automatic flight data recorder runs in the background, logging your route, speed, altitude, and more. Now there are two Stratus models to choose from. Stratus 1S and 2S offer additional features and even better performance, but with the same pilot-friendly design that has made Stratus the best-selling ADS-B receiver in aviation. Stratus 1S is ideal for VFR pilots, offering subscription-free weather, single-band ADS-B traffic and WASP GPS at an incredible price. It also includes the innovative Stratus Replay feature, you can turn off your iPad screen without missing any ADS-B transmissions. Stratus 2S is the ultimate iPad upgrade, unlocking the full potential of ForeFlight. In addition to subscription-free weather, dual-band ADS-B traffic, and WAS GPS, Stratus 2 also includes a built-in attitude heading reference system, a pressure altitude sensor, and an automatic flight data recorder. It's at home in an experimental airplane panel or an airline cockpit. Easy situational awareness for an unbelievable price. Stratus is the smart addition to your flight bag. For more information, visit sporties.com slash stratus. Visit Avidyne in booth 3130 at AirVenture 2015 and see the newly certified IFD 440 as well as the new features of release 10.1 software on the IFD 540. As part of Avidyne's full line of panel mounted avionics, these two hybrid touch FMS GPS Navcom systems give pilots all of the advantages of touchscreen navigation along with the confidence and stability of dedicated knobs and buttons. The IFD 540 and IFD 440 are an approved position source for Avidyne's full range of ADS-B out and in products. Now, Avidyne's Integra customers can upgrade to the full IFD 540, 440 stack, equipped for ADS-B, and have a fully updated flight deck including wireless connectivity. With their built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hardware, the IFD 540 and the IFD 440 do not require external boxes, extra wires, or additional cost of installation. Avidyne's new Open Architecture Software Developer Kit allows any software engineer, flight school, or aviation hobbyist access to the wireless data that is streamed out of the IFD 540 and 440. This creates the possibility for customized aviation apps on iPads, smartphones, and tablets in the cockpit. To learn more, visit Avidyne at booth 3130 or go to www.avidyne.com. Today I want to talk to you about our new aircraft, which we're calling the Sky Dock. We wanted to have a name that would evoke exactly what it is that we're allowing you to do, to get into an airplane and go find your place up in the sky. I love to fly. I got my first flight in an airplane when I was around 13 years old, and then when I was 18 or 19, I got a pilot's license while working at Cessna Aircraft Company. 
About six years ago, Kathy and I started Be Light Aircraft. We wanted to enable ultralight aviation for people who, like me, wanted to fly. I wanted to be able to do something that would give people the empowerment and joy of flying. Ultralight aviation allowed that. It's the perfect thing for people who just want to get up and have a look around. The Pro Cub is our top of the line ultralight aircraft. The Ultra Cub is our mid-level offering, but uh, it's time for something different. The SkyDock was designed with you in mind. We knew that you had a number of features that are important and we wanted to be able to provide them to you. Our goal with the overall design was efficiency, precision, low cost of production, quick build time. Also, we wanted to have a very good, sexy, organic appearance and we think we pulled it off. The engine selection options for this aircraft have several good candidates. We're looking at half VWs, we're looking at high technology two strokes, and we're also taking a good hard look at electric options. The cabin is made from precision cut wood panels. They're bonded to foam using glue, and then they are glued together into the form of the cabin. After it looks like a cabin, then we apply a couple of layers of carbon fiber cloth you end up with a box shell construction that is just very light and very, very strong. The rear fuselage is constructed from foam and aluminum with carbon fiber or fiberglass over the top of it. That allows us to create a three-dimensional structure that you can actually frame in one day. It goes together really easy. You do a little bit of sanding, put on the composite material over the top of it, and voila, very lightweight, very strong. Likewise, the tail feathers are constructed from foam and aluminum as well, along with a little bit of fiberglass. We have a lot of experience with these, and we've tested some similar designs to over 500 pound strength. Amazingly light, amazingly strong, very easy to build. The wings on this aircraft are unlike any other wings that have been on an ultralight aircraft. They're designed without lift struts. What that means is the entire load carrying structure is contained inside the wing. I started with a Space Age aluminum alloy to provide the strength for the center spar box, and then we designed the wings to fit onto it. I also changed the wing design so it had more wing area and a thicker cord. What that meant was the plane would fly better slower rather than better faster. The landing gear on the Sky Dock is a tricycle gear design. We designed the aircraft from the ground up to support tricycle gear. It wasn't done as an afterthought. I designed it so that the nose wheel is free swiveling. That allows you to turn easily just using the brakes. And the main gear is using a classic trailing link suspension with a rubber bushing. It looks cool. It's easy to understand how it works and it's rugged. Everything on the plane is designed so that it cohesively met the goal of being easy to build. When you get it, everything comes out of the box ready to glue or carbon fiber together. It's like a great big model airplane kit. Things just fit. This is an airplane that allows you to get up and see what the world is doing. The Skydock is an airplane that anyone can afford, anyone can build, and anyone can fly. It's something that is perfect for recreational flight. We're using this Kickstarter project to help us fund the remaining development on the aircraft. We're pricing the SkyDock kit on Kickstarter at $39.95. That's inexpensive. We wanted to have the best value in ultralight aviation that's out there. It doesn't include the engine. There are a few parts that are not included, but the airframe is complete at $39.95. It's an awesome value. We hope you'll join us on Kickstarter to help us complete the SkyDock project. My name is Claire Behringer. I'm the sales director of Behringer Aero, wheel and brake manufacturer. This year is our 30th anniversary, so we are going to present a lot of exciting products at Oshkosh. After 30 years of research and development of wheel and brake systems, Behringer has decided to focus on another subject, landing gear for bush planes. Indeed, the, the current landing gears are welded steel landing gears uh, with bungee or rubber suspensions that don't provide any absorption. So here is what we came up with. Our new landing gear, called Alaskan landing gear, is a patented spe specific kinematic. Uh, it has a st very strong design for bush use, it is 3G proof tested. 
Uh, the weight is also really light. Uh, it is uh, composed of high strength aluminum, 2024. 20, um, the efficiency is really big uh, thanks to the oil and pneumatic shocks. And these shocks have 12 inch of travel for very high energy dissipation, as you can see in the pictures. Designing such a landing gear was a real challenge for Behringer, but I honestly think that it's going to be a big revolution for bush planes. The whole team will be waiting for you at EAA Air Venture, stand 437. We'll tell you everything about this tailwheel as well. We'll see you there. We've got four projects ongoing with the FAA right now. First one is our expansion of Lycoming six-cylinder engine approvals. We're going to add in the turbocharged Lycoming engines as well as pick up some of the other models that we hadn't done previously. That's all working its way through the FAA as well as we're adding in a mag timing housing. A mag timing housing is an alternate trigger mechanism for the ignition system different from the crank trigger wheel kit that we had approved originally. Second project that we've got in with the FAA is a ignition switch panel. Airplanes typically have a rotary key switch which have known maintenance failure histories. Some of them have AD notes, which are airworthiness directives, all kinds of things. And we found it might be simpler to just create our own ignition panel, one for the magneto that's on the airplane, one for the electronic ignition, and then a push button starter. Really simplify the whole, the whole switchology and system of how to control the ignition systems. Third project that we have in with the FAA, actually the FAA is helping us with it, is doing our EASA approvals, which are the European approvals for our ignition system. Currently our systems are just FAA approved for consumption in the United States, or actually for use on November registered or US registered aircraft. EASA has their own set of rules that we have to comply with and the FAA helps us navigate that, uh, that set of rules so we can get European approvals. And lastly, our big project with the FAA is the addition of helicopters to our ignition approvals. We're doing six-cylinder engines first because that's a little bit more of an acid test case and then we'll add four-cylinder engine helicopters after that. Different set of rules on helicopters than aircraft, different uh, requirements as far as vibration, uh, where you mount stuff, that sort of thing. We're really excited about that project. That'll pick up all of the Robinson helicopters as well as the Enstroms and the, and the Schweitzer helicopters too. Don't know in the helicopter world what we're expecting to see fuel economy wise. That's always one of the big sales points of electronic ignition systems. However, what the feedback that we've had from helicopter operators, their big issue is reliability of magnetos. Helicopters just shake violently compared to airplanes and they wear out the magnetos faster. And also starting issues, which we should be able to help with a lot. The next big thing from ElectroAir is the development of a replacement kit for the Bendix Dual Magneto. Now the Bendix Dual Magneto is a single drive dual ignition system that was used commonly in the 1970s on four cylinder and six cylinder Lycoming engines. We've had a system in place in the experimental world for a long time, but our big hurdle for the certified world has been the development of a single magneto that would replace the dual magneto. We've begun that project. We look at it to wrap up both the four and the six cylinder engines, probably about a one to two year project. This will lead naturally into us developing our own magneto line. And we're going to do some things differently than what are done tradi in traditional magnetos. Uh, we're going to hop up some power out of the coil. We're even going to see if we can't provide a backup generator source from the magneto as well. Some other little tricks that I really can't talk about. After that, once we get that done, I am pleased to announce that we've decided to move ahead on an electronic ignition system for radial engines. So the Pratt 985s, uh, some of the Jacobs engines, all of those motors. There is enough of a fleet of radial engines still in use, flying for a living as well as for pleasure, that makes a good business case for that. We're forecasting probably about a three to four year project for that particular item to be done.
Hi, I'm Louis Mancuso, the landing doctor and importer of the Bristel LSA made in the Czech Republic. The Bristel can now be ordered with the Rotax 114 horsepower turbocharged engine, which allows the Bristel to achieve cruise speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour. If service ceiling is your goal, you can order a Bristel with a longer wing and reach heights of 15,000 feet. The Bristel is the premier light sport aircraft with luxurious paint and interiors, a cabin wider than a Cirrus, and cruise speeds higher than a Skyhawk. All Bristels come with a Garmin suite of avionics, including the large 10-inch PFD display, which is easy to see and easy to use. The Garmin Autopilot not only has altitude hold and GPS steering, but also has a flight director and a level button. Bristel Aircraft has introduced a new innovative share program designed for both student and licensed pilots. After you purchase your share, the operating cost for fuel and maintenance is only $50 per hour. The second innovative component of this program is training provided by Bristel. The PLC, GPA, and DF GAP training under the Landing Doctor syllabus is perfect for those transitioning to LSAs. I've been operating LSAs for 10 years now, and our Landing Doctor syllabus is the result of all the lessons I've learned in that time. 10 years of data shows that LSA incidents are concentrated around loss of control in the takeoff and landing phases. This program is designed to make pilots master and commanders of these lightly wing-loaded aircraft, particularly while performing crosswind takeoffs and landings. LSAs are fun, but you've got to know how to fly them. Bristol shares are currently available in Islip, New York, Lancaster, PA, and the Villages, Florida. To learn more about Bristol Aircraft, visit www.bristelaircraft.com or stop by booth 268 in Oshkosh at AirVenture. This is Lou Mancuso, the Landing Doctor, wishing you safe and happy flying. We are a company with more than 60 years of experience in the development of ultralight helicopters. Over the years, we have developed more than 14 different models, which have generated innovative technologies that are still being used by sport light helicopter makers around the world to this day. Sakari is pleased to introduce the all new Sakari 8 side-by-side -side ULM helicopter. On this occasion, we have the privilege and pleasure to present for the first time the result of those years of experience, the Sakari 8. The ingenuity of our development director, Augusto Sakari, and his technical, engineering, and design team are putting into practice the reliability, quality, practicality, maneuverability, and efficiency that are well known within Sakari products throughout all of the different countries where we have presence. The Sakari 8 is a great helicopter for multi-purpose use. The objective was to develop a two-place helicopter that fit the ULM category based on the platform of the Sakari 7B and 7T that could also be sold as a kit. A unique design ahead of its time in the market, the Sakari 8 prioritizes low fuel consumption, operating costs, and empty weight to achieve higher payloads. To accomplish this, we incorporated the latest technology materials such as carbon fiber, titanium, and a new efficient lighter engine. The EPA Power 917 gives this vehicle as much as 130 HP, allowing it to carry two passengers of 220 pounds each without blinking an eye. Starting with a new Rotax 900 series engine and adding proprietary performance components, the EPA Power 917 is a Rotax block with electronic fuel injection and carbon fiber, assuring a light, safe, and trustworthy engine. Structural and mechanical analysis verified and provided us with the opportunity to optimize this craft for the weight reduction, performance, and safety we were looking for. The rotors utilize a two-blade semi-rigid composite construction simple and optimal, reflected in a smooth and highly controllable helicopter. A simple, proven, trustworthy main rotor gearbox uses crown pinion bevel gears with an overhaul period of 1,000 hours. For the development of this product, the design department directed by Indelicio Sabani, designer of the Sakari CH-14, took a big step in terms of design process and prototyping technology. The Sakari 8 incorporates design methodology and 3D modeling suitable for machining through CNC. This is a design that builds upon the main features of extensive previous products and experience, 
and which in turn will echo the quality and innovation that characterizes Sakari, with the aim being that the Sakari 8 might set a trend in the market and even grow to become an iconic product. Production began in July, and the first product from the factory will be delivered this September with a planned production capacity of 24 per year next year, and hopefully double that for 2017. Visit us at booth number 418 at Oshkosh AirVenture 2015 for more information about configuration and purchase. KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. We are the Aero News Network. With over 250,000 stories, 7,000 Aero podcasts, 2,500 Aero TV programs, 500 episodes of Airborne, and so much more. It's a record of performance unequaled in the Aeroverse, and there's far more to come. Aero News, committed to innovate, inform, inspire, and disrupt the aviation world. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome to the Dino Channel your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft.
For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel. Safe Plus is a next-generation RC technology developed by Horizon Hobby that includes GPS, compass, and altitude sensors. One of the most significant features of this innovative technology is Active Landing Assistance, or Auto Land. It used to be that if you wanted to teach yourself to fly, the biggest fear you had was executing your first landing. With Auto Land, Safe Plus will automatically return the Sportsman S Plus to where it took off from and land often without requiring any pilot input. Even with Autoland activated, you still have control to avoid obstacles near the landing area or extend the landing if necessary. Learning to fly an RC airplane can be a bit overwhelming at times, and it's helpful to have an instructor take over so you can get reoriented. Safe Plus gives you a similar experience by using holding pattern to bring the aircraft back to its takeoff location and fly a circular pattern until you're ready to take over again. Once activated, holding pattern will automatically return the aircraft near its takeoff location at an altitude of 120 feet. From there, the aircraft will circle until you're ready to cancel the command and take over. Safe Plus also introduces a feature called Virtual Fence, which creates an invisible boundary that will activate holding pattern if crossed by the aircraft. This boundary prevents the Sportsman S Plus from flying too far away so you don't have to worry about losing sight of your aircraft. Flight envelope protection limits the pitch and roll angles so you can learn to fly at your own pace. By limiting the pitch and roll angles, Safe Plus technology helps you learn the basics of RC flight and develop your skills while keeping you in control of the aircraft at all times. The Sportsman S Plus includes three flight modes. Beginner mode features the greatest pitch and roll limitations and is specially tuned for people just getting started in RC. Intermediate mode expands these envelope limits, giving the pilot greater maneuverability. Experience mode removes all artificial flight envelope limitations so you can perform more aggressive maneuvers such as loops and rolls. The greatest anxiety new pilots experience is a fear of crashing their aircraft. Panic Recovery Mode virtually eliminates this anxiety by automatically returning the Sportsman S Plus to straight and level flight when the sticks are released in beginner mode. The view from the sky is too wonderful not to share, so the Sportsman S Plus includes a camera mount specifically designed for the E-Flight EFC 721 HD camera so you can capture your RC experience and share with your family and friends. If you'd like to learn more about Safe Plus technology and the HobbyZone Sportsman S Plus, visit us on the web at HobbyZoneRC.com.